and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. I'm Lady Maras. And uh, we'll be going through a simple little uh, banishing spell that you can do yourself. And we're using limes today. You can use lemons if you like, but we're using limes today. And um, so let's go through some of the ingredients. We'll need a paper plate. Now I, used to, I like to use paper plates because you can dispose of them all, all in one, um, one piece. Uh, as opposed to using a, a plate that you have and then you have to go through making sure that that's cleansed afterwards So it's just a little bit easier to have a, a paper paper plate. Now we're using three limes Okay, and it's good sized limes um, They don't have to be they don't have to be big whopper ones, but nice sized limes obviously something to cut those limes with so a knife we also have Some salt I have some uh, sea salt here. See that? Some sea salt. I just got this from the supermarket. Doesn't need to be anything um, fancy. Um, and also, which one doesn't fall over? Um, also a a bit of holy water and um, some some rum. Now the holy water is up to you. Depends on on how you roll. Uh, if holy water to you means uh, blessed water from a priest, then then that's that's what you use. If holy water means to you that you have consecrated some water and some salt together, and you've now made that into holy water, then then that's holy water for you. If it means that it is um, Florida water or any kind of other um, magical water that has been blessed in some fashion, then that is holy water to you. So however you go. Um, and also a little bit of white rum. So what you will do is you'll take the you'll take the limes, and um, what, what this is going to do is going to to soak up negativity. It's going to soak up um, anything that may be have been directed at you. Now this can be in the form of if you believe that you have a spell that's been put on you, then it can. Um, it can be then placed into these limes and, and directed away from you. Um, if you have any kind of negativity that you believe is, is, um, is directed in your way, whether it's people who are speaking um, ill of you or uh, if um, anything that you feel that may be directed at you in any kind of negative, um, negative energy or negativity that has been uh, directed at you. Um, this will dispel it. It will soak it up and we'll get rid of it. So we have our we'll have our three lines. So what you will get is your lines and in your hands should have put in these beforehand you will you will have your holy water okay and you will put that Splash that on there. Might get a little bit messy, but that's what witchcraft's all about. And a little bit of rum. Okay. You might want to make sure that that's all nice and wet. And also, if you have a little bit on your hands, I'm going to have to do a bit of clean up after this. Okay, now what you'll do with these lines is that you're starting from your head and working down. You will then just use those lines and go over your body and just, just lightly go over your body and just from the head down and you are feeling and, and seeing any negativity, any um, negative energy that is on your body and is um, and, and is directed to you is now being sucked into and put into these lines. Okay, they are being directed into these lines, and instead of at you, they are going to be pulled into these lines. And you can say, you can say a little prayer. You can say whatever you, you like, um, or you can say something that I've just devised at the moment is I banish all negativity from me. Drawing into these lines it will be. I am safe and secure, so mote it be. And you will say that six times as you go over your body 
from the head down, making sure that you work on as much as you can and feeling that any negativity is being drawn into these lines. You can see that negativity and it's drawing into those lines. So I banish negativity from me, drawing into these lines it will be. I am safe and secure, so motive be. And you'll keep going and you'll do that for six times. So you have three lines, you do your prayer six times and once you have uh, done that, you can uh, give that a little bit more there. Just make sure they're all nice and uh, nice and soaked. You have your plate. Now we place that plate on here. Now what we do is that we cut these lines and we cut them into fours. We don't do it all the way to the end. We want to make sure that it's still Ourselves. We don't want any blood magic in this. Um, we cut it and so that is, see it's not cut at the end, at the end, but we open it up and it's almost like a flower. And we cut, open it up. Okay, and we place it on the plate. And then we do it again with these other ones. Now what that's going to do is it's going to open them up and as we know, any negativity that's drawn to us, any, uh, any uh, baneful magic that may have been directed our way, um, evil eye, whatever it is um, that you feel uh, may be giving you a bit of grief, um, will be directed into these lines. Now we get the sea salt and then we just cover these with the salt. Now the salt draws in the negativity, it sucks it into itself, it draws and soaks up that negativity. And salt is used by many, many magical practitioners as a way of cleansing a space. Now, if, the, if the, the plate is a little bit bigger, you can just do a little bit of a circle around, but as long as it's all covered in salt, that's fine. So there you go, you've got that. Now, what you do is then you place this under your bed. All right, so right where you are sleeping. So if you sleep on a side, you'll place it underneath so that you will be directly underneath you when you sleep. If you sleep in the middle, same thing, you place it where you are. And, um, and that will keep you safe and secure. Now you will leave this under your bed for nine days. So we've got three lines, three lines. We have six prayers and then we have nine days. On the ninth day you just grab this all together, place it in the bin, um, even better take it away from your property, take it to a, um, somewhere out in the bush, out in the, out in the forest and bury it. Okay. If you um, at the end of the nine days you look at your limes and your limes are black and rotten and dark, um, that means that it has um, that you have had something directed at you and it has now been neutralized. It's now been placed into, into the lines and it's been neutralized. Um, if you haven't seen anything in that, it just, it's just nice and dry, then again, it's worked, but um, it means that it was just, just random negativity that, that everyone has um, at, a, at a normal daily basis, nothing that has been actually directed to you. So if it's black, black rotting, dark, then you know that something definitely has been directed at you and then you can, you can do this process again until you feel that um, you don't need to do it. Um, now um, the reason that you have it underneath your bed um, while you sleep because it is protecting you in those hours and we, we discussed this in the banishing 
in the vanishing video that I did, uh, is that between the hours of uh, around about um, two and four is when you are a more vulnerable. Okay, you're asleep. Um, this is where this will work. So I hope you enjoyed that, and um, thank you for watching uh, Witchy Wednesdays. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be. Send that beautiful energy up into the heavens. It's another very powerful cleansing incense that's often used by witches is dragon's blood. Dragon's blood.